What's good, people? Happy New Year. I hope everybody had a great holiday season. And now that 2019 is upon us, thanks for tuning back in. Listen, I meant to make a video right before 2018 ended, but I never got around to it. You know, holidays and all. I just want to talk about my favorite hero movies from 2018. I mean, there were a handful that came out, and I really enjoyed most of them. But I have to say that my top four for 2018 were uh, in this order. Avengers Infinity War. Uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Aquaman. I know you're going to uh, gonna choke me about it, but I really dug the movie. So that's my number two. And my number one was Black Panther. So those are my four top four movies from 2018 hero-wise. And I really enjoyed those. If you haven't checked them out, please do. I know that Infinity Wars and Black Panther are both on uh, Netflix right now. So go ahead and check those out if you haven't. Great stuff. And Aquaman. Piggybacking on Aquaman. It actually hit $200 million today. So all those haters out there right now that are talking bad about it, you know what? Go eat it. It's making some good money. It's a really good movie. If you haven't checked it out, please do so. Do yourself the favor. And even if you have seen it and you don't like it, that's your choice. That's your right. Just there are a lot more that like it that don't. <laughs> Just saying. Um, what else is going on? Um, 64 days. There are 64 days today until Captain Marvel comes out on March 7th. Thursday, March 7th, Captain Marvel. So I'm really looking forward to that. There's a lot of really good merchandise hitting the markets right now with her. So if you have a, uh, if you're a fan, go ahead and pick some up. I'm not, I'm not telling you to buy it. It's just out there. So in case you want it, pick it out. Um, uh, what else? Oh, Young Justice actually starts on the DC streaming service January 4th. I'm looking forward to it. There are a couple of really good trailers out there right now. They look good. I think it's going to be exciting. I love the first two seasons, and this one's looking like it's going to be pretty good. I think they're going to drop all the episodes at once. I checked out the uh, the the website, the DC Universe streaming website, and it looked like they're going to drop all of them at once, which means it's going to be a lot of good binge watching. And if you're not a member of the DC streaming service yet, I'm pretty sure you can find those by other means, but, you know... For eight bucks a month, you get to watch all that stuff. It averages out to pennies on the day. So, get a chance to check it out. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, what else is going on? I am read a couple comic books. I'm trying to get back into reading. There's so much going on that I'm trying to get back into reading. And I really just uh, finished up X-Men Extinction, which was really good. Um, if you follow the X-Men books, then you know that there's a, there's a certain set of X-Men from the 60s that have been time displaced but now they're back and the reason why they got sent back is because they were just screwing up the future and cable a young cable had to send them back to their time so that's good a couple of x-men died in the process not big name x-men characters but they were still characters also they died kind of sad but nobody ever really stays dead in comic books uh what else speaking of dead heroes uh, Heroes in Crisis um, from DC, the new issue came out today. If you're following it, then great. If not, then if you're a comic book reader, you're missing out. It's really good. Uh, gist of it is that there's a place called the farm, uh, the sanctuary, where uh, heroes go to deal with their PTSD. And somehow somebody broke in there and, and killed off a bunch of heroes. And it's kind of depressing. So... But now they're just trying to figure out who did it. It's either going to be Harley Quinn or it's going to be Booster's Gold. So those are two characters they're looking at right now. It's not a you know cut and dry thing. It's really good. It's got some funny parts to it. This issue does. Uh, Wonder Woman actually knocks over Batman's penny and crushes the Batmobile. It's kind of funny. Um, but definitely check it out. Got a lot of good stuff going on in there. Uh, Aquaman 43. I checked that one out. It's kind of a, a soft reboot of... Uh, the Aquaman story it released a couple of weeks ago right before the movie did and it's pretty good I mean if you're not a, a comic reader and you want to pick up Aquaman but you don't want to go through the new 52 stuff which I recommend you do because it's a really good read um, but if you don't want to pick up the rebirth stuff or the new 52 you can pick up issue number 43 and start there he basically has amnesia from probably from the other 42 issues and now he doesn't remember who he is, and it's rewriting a pretty nice story. So definitely check that out. And what else? 
how can I forget this? This week, DC put a tribute page inside of their comics, and uh, it's a tribute page to Stan Lee, which I think is really cool. And if you're a comic fan and you think it's really cool too, that the competitor will actually do that. You know, it's mad respect across the board. Comics, the comics, we're all one fan. So, shout out to you, DC. Good stuff. Um, but yeah, happy 2019. Hopefully, we can see each other more, and you can, you know, keep clicking on that and saying what's up. So let me know what you think. And until next time, it's Cosmic Lou. I'm out.